So uh, this is Recovery Pilot, the app we've worked for the past two days. So the problem we're trying to solve is the patient recovery follow-up. So patients, whenever they're uh, admitted into the hospital, get out of the hospital, are given a lot of advice. What they're supposed to do, what tasks are they supposed to sit up, lay down, for how many days, what medication to take, uh, and stuff about red flags as well. And it's just a lot of a lot of information for a lot of patients, and they can get, get flooded by, the, by that information, and they can just forget of what they're supposed to do, what they're supposed to check, and we aim to solve that by reducing the amount of leaflets we give out by moving to a digital solution. So the proof of concept that hopefully you've all got on your phones now uh, is focused on the laparoscopic bowel surgery uh, that is, and the guidelines we use are from King's College Hospital. And hopefully this is something you've got on your phones now. So we've got the advice, tasks, and questions tabs. The advice, all, all of these tabs are specific to the day of recovery, of how, how far in are you in the process. And the tasks and questions are interactive. So based on what you see, uh, that then can then be submitted to the system, to the NHS database, and then uh, for the clinician to, you know, to, to follow it up if needed. But the important bit is the patient knows what to do. So if we say the pain score is severe, we can display accurate information of what the patient is supposed to do. So maybe the guidelines say you're supposed to go to the hospital. So the patient will know what to do, how to act, and they don't have to remember it. They'll get notifications to complete those questions every day as for how long the recovery process lasts. So this is how we view the app. Uh, so the benefits. So provide a clear recovery path post-surgery, post any admission, uh, reduces the length of hospital stay, uh, improves overall patient experiences, reduces post-op complications, reduces readmissions. This is how we view it in the ideal scenario. Uh, it would be incorporate, incorporated into the NHS app as an addition, uh, with the, and working with the NHS database and the specific guidelines to the specific hospital, so it can be easily adjusted based on the many, many guidelines we have for specific hospitals. Uh, this is how we view it in the clinical context. And conclusion, what we've learned. So it's been an amazing two days. Uh, we've got an amazing team coming from uh, technical and medical backgrounds. Uh, and we've come together on this project. We've created an awesome demo uh, that we love and yeah, hope you do, it up, do love it as well. Uh, and yeah, it's been really nice to work on a patient app that you know patients can use and we've got Ed here that is a clinical nurse in the colorectal unit and yeah he has the idea it in the future hopefully thank you well done thank you very much any questions for more judges how would this differ from a kind of traditional ERAS solution can you tell us what a traditional ERAS solution is? ERAS is enhanced recovery after surgery and it combines, I guess, a number of features. One is it's preparing the patient for surgery, which is about, I don't know, dying, smart cessation or whatever. So you have a digital solution for that already? Okay. So ERAS is an enhanced recovery after surgery and this is actually being utilized by most uh, trusts now here in, in England. And this won't interfere with that. This will be a supplementary uh, uh, option for going through paperwork, which ERAS is basically paper-based. Instead of going through, uh, rummaging through uh, brochures and checklists, whatnot, and, uh, they can go through their handy uh, mobile uh, gadgets and remind themselves of what to do and what to expect on the work or, what, or whatever. So is it customizable to particular situations or general? So yeah, it, obviously we've had two days, so we've done this for one use case. We have like a easy draggable creator you can use for hospitals to create those pathways, integrate them however they view, because many hospitals have different pathways based on, even for the same you know, operations and discharges. So 
ideally, every hospital can adjust it the way they view it. Thank you. Um, it looks like you've got a good way of picking up what's going on with the patient. How do you ensure that information when there's a problem is passed on to clinicians quickly and acted upon? So we need to remember what we're comparing ourselves against. We're not comp we're Cells against leaflets. Leaflets don't have any, you know, feedback information. The, in here, we we store that information. So if the clinician wants to access this, maybe we can in, incorporate uh, notifications for the clinicians as well. If if, if the hospital wants that, that information, so the patient knows how to act in that specific moment. If something's not going wrong, not something's not going right, they will know to contact the hospital if needed. Yeah, one of the responses is to seek out uh, att medical attention, so it will prompt them to seek out medical attention when necessary. Yeah, interesting that it, it, when it, you were in severe pain, it wasn't to contact your GP, it was to go to the ED, the GP, I noticed that. And I think we're finished. Thank you very much.